happen right now. Uh, I think we might be calling it quits on Stream Raiders tonight, though. That might be the thing that we are going to do next to see if that helps any. So, hope you all had fun playing Stream Raiders. I don't know if that's half the problem or what, but I'm going to go ahead and take that out of here for now. I will run that Stream Raider fight whenever I get a chance, so if you guys have a, a token or your stuff down for it, don't fret. I will go ahead and run that as soon as I get time to get to it again. So, it might be a little late on the uptake on it, but we'll definitely get to it. And now roll 20 is going to take a half hour to get started, so... Ah, here we go. We're, st we're starting to get there. Uh... Gonna make me restart the music again. Alright. Just make up your mind songs. What do you want? <laughs> ah, yes, now I remember what was happening. I was wondering why Hunger of Hadar doesn't roll its damage. Mm, that's probably why there's two effects going on. Oh yeah, Hunger of Hadar isn't going to uh, isn't going to roll damage for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Looks like it doesn't happen right away either. So it'll be at the start of their turn. So we'll just move on to Arthur. All right. Uh, hmm. That was really. Um, okay, Arthur is going to do a quick stab into the one in front of him. The one in that front of you. That's a flat roll. Yeah, it becomes a hit. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, that live room poison off. Yeah, yeah, that. Okay, I see which one you are doing out there that way. All right. Yeah. So, sneak attack should proc. Yep. Yeah, should. And with the quick stab through the chest area of this creature, it falls to your blade and is now dead. The two tentacles behind it kind of like slap the ground in front of you as it falls over dead. Anything else for your turn? Is going to move five feet over, and then I'll be his turn. I want to try anything new? Nah, not yet. All right, just thought I'd ask. Crump, you're up. We'll get through this fight one way or another. <laughs> All right, I think Crump's just going for some attacks on the two beside him. Well, there's only one beside you now on the south end. But there's one on the north too. If you want to take cracks at that one, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's what okay. I meant. One on the north and what the one on the south. All right, which one you want to use first? North. Uh, north. Yeah. Hit. Uh, south one hits. I thought uh, that one gets disadvantage. No, it's still good. No, it's uh, actually with advantage. The cloak is without the orange dot. Uh, oh, whenever, okay. Whenever the orange dot is missing, they don't have their cloak up, basically. Okay, oh, so I thought it was the other way around. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're good. Oh, wow, almost gave you too much damage. One, two, three is not how much damage you did. Uh, the southern one looks pretty bloodied after you stab into it with the scimitar. The one on north is still healthy, but they are definitely reeling out in agony and crying for their poor lost buddy that just fell down over here. Anything else for your turn, Kronk? No, sir. All right, Vo. A mass of tentacles and darkness envelopes the area where the displacer beast is halfway sticking in. What would you like to do? Uh, is it his head out? Hey, it's on the right. You can get to it. Like where you are right now, you can't see its body. I mean, diagonally, yeah. I guess you can. Just making sure if I can hit it or not. So, 
Yeah, right, yeah, he's. Combo. Yeah, Paulina was at least gracious enough not to focus all of it on her. Uh, thirteen. Hit. All right, it has the new charge of thunder on them now. That's eleven. And another poke. Poke away. That hits. And that's eight. Okay. Anything else for your turn as you stab into it twice? Why, yes! Action surge. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, this time, though, I already cast a spell. So I'm going to have to hit them with my blade multiple times. Mm-hmm. That's usually how an action works. It's a uh, hit. That's a 24. That's, that's a, a 22. It's a shame both of those crits are on the other side. Go ahead and roll damage. I mean, I wish I could say it's unseen attacker, but... You know. Yeah, it's still half has its butt out. 19 points nine. of damage. All right. I mean, the hilarious part is if, uh, is if you moved yourself, like, slightly five feet, you could have had advantage. <laughs> I mean, true, but I did tell him to lay down, so I don't think he would be really helpful he's, fighting. He's technically not engaged, <laughs> but yeah. Well, also circling around to be on the opposite side of Shella. Either way, there were options. He, mm. Yes, that's the end of my turn. Fair enough. Uh, Jack, you're up. Here's another stupid move of the day. I'm going to try to move away. Is this a contest now? <laughs> yeah, well, it's just over here. I am willing to take those opportunity attacks. Why do people do this? <laughs> okay, here I come. I, got, I have plenty of health. All right, that's fair. Uh, I have to get their character sheets back open. Here's the first one. Here's the second. All right, you're good. Okay. Then I'm going to uh, point at the Displacer Beast up here, and I'm going to cast uh, Scorching Ray at third level. All right. So that'll be four bits of rays. Fire away. Okay. Oh! Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> the one up north, right? North or south? Yep. Uh, north. north, the healthy Fair. one. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, well, okay. start rolling damage. All those hit. Uh, they all hit? They all hit. AC's 13, my friend. Oh, boy. Okay. First, second, uh, I'll do the arcane fire on now just to save my own brain. 14, that's 20. I'll tell you what, don't, don't even worry about it. I'll just okay. subtract it as we go. All right, keep going. That's 28. And just also waiting oh. to activate the arcane firearm oh, on your crit means you get double on the arcane firearm. Well, it doesn't matter. I, I, I mean, already said it. Yeah, like doesn't it actually go on the first hit though? It doesn't. It it, it only says eh. that like uh, like once. Uh, it's only for one of them. The dice rolls. Like basically, only basically. You can basically you can always choose to not do it. It's just that uh, not to I'll do give, it first. It's I'll one of those a, things where you can choose whether or not. I'll give you an extra six points of damage. How's that feel? Okay. Uh, this creature gets bombarded by these scorching rays, and we see two light red dots go towards it. Scritch, scritch, and then all of a sudden we see two gigantic orbs of fire that just kind of got emanulated into whatever this is, and just scorched right into this beast and just kind of like start burning away fur and into the tentacles lets out a loud shriek as it's kind of like bloodied at this point looking rough still standing though and I'll end my turn there okie dokie let's see here at the start of its turn let's take a look at it again At the start of its turn, it needs to make Oh, it just takes 2d6 code damage, doesn't matter. Alright, cool. If it ends its turn there, then it will... Oh, wow. Ah. 
Huh. Can't effectively move past you all. Has three targets. Let's see which one we're going after, dude. Catching its attention with the booming blade and the attacks you have been peeling onto this creature, it focuses on Vol. For a 25 and a 20. Does that hit? Uh, Vol? 25 hit. Okay. Just checking to make sure you're not doing anything. Alright, uh, 14 pier- or altogether bludgeoning and piercing. And that will end All its right. turn. Oh, there you go. Oh, and it ends its turn there because it uh, makes a deck save or take 2d6. Er, I will ask Star, uh, like, uh, can it see outside where it's yeah. currently standing? I yeah, legitimately can't tell. Yeah, like its head's right there. Like, here's the. Like, this helps. My like, eyesight is bad. No, that's why wait. I'm asking. Oh no, no, no! I'll help paint the picture. Like the like we do have like a stat block thing that it. Crap! Like I'm trying to move this line over a little. Bit. <laughs> like, that's how it's looking right there. Okay, yeah, it's just like uh. Yeah, like, like, like he's uh, half. For my he's... eyes, those lines aren't thick, so yeah, that's why I was they're asking. not. No, totally agree. Totally agree. That's. Not a problem. I will definitely highlight that for you if you want to know. Yeah, he's like sticking out halfway, so that's why he was able to take a bite at her and, you know, likewise. Uh, fails the deck save, takes another 2d6. That really doesn't seem.